So yeah. uh, as a kid, man, how did you get involved with football? Well, my uncle was a coach. Um, he also played a huge role in, in my life as far as raising me. Uh, my mom was a single mother, and he really stepped in and, and uh, felt that void of, of fatherhood, what a man looked like. And he was a, a high school football coach. And so naturally, I went and hung out with him in the locker rooms probably at the age of five. It's probably the earliest I can remember. Um, so from going to games, being the ball boy, fell in love with it, had a ton of cousins that played. And so, um, so yeah, dating back to, you know, really five or six years old when I fell in love with the game, but couldn't play until high school uh, just because California had a weight limit at that time. I was a bigger kid. Yes, um, and so I played other sports, but once I got to high school and was able to get out there, uh, never looked back. Definitely, man. So uh, along that journey besides your uncle, who else had that uh, uh, impact on you player wise and coach? Wow, I mean, I've had a, I mean, I've had a ton of people. I mean, you know, obviously starting with my uncle and my mom. Um, I had a coach named Jeff Wheelock, Dan Shaughnessy. Uh, when I was in, you know, uh, little league baseball or AU basketball, high school football, those two guys really stuck out. I mean, in my career, I mean, every stop that I've made, I've been fortunate enough to have people from, you know, Brinson Buckner, Steve Smith when I was in Carolina. Uh, obviously, London uh, Fletcher, Kendrick Ghostin, Chris Samuels, a ton of guys in Washington. Mike Sellers, who I just saw, was down in Tampa, got to reconnect with him, yes, and a ton of other guys just from that, that six-year period when I was in Washington, just having a lot of guys show me how to be a professional league, show me how uh, to create some longevity and the value in the community as well as in the lo locker room, guys that, that brought me to Christ. Uh, a lot of people were so influ influential there. And then when I left to Arizona, you know, starting to, to get with guys like Sam Acho, uh, uh, Carson Palmer, Larry Fitzgerald. Uh, I mean, it, I mean, just a ton of guys. I, mean, <laughs> I can go on and on about, and, it's, and I haven't even talked about Oakland or, or Buffalo yet, and I didn't even mention a coach's name. <laughs> you know, and if I had to mention coaches, Leslie Frazier here of late has really been influential. Just uh, going through the transition, obviously he played for the 85 Bears, played at a high level. Um, in the NFL, he's a Christian, and so and seeing how he's done life, how he's transitioned, he's still in sports, but also being married and having kids, and what that looks like for a guy that used to play and now is transitioning, um, was really good. And then, um, and then also, I would have to say, uh, Danny Smith was huge for me as well. 